Good afternoon. My name is Jacob Kashiwagi, and today we're going to be reviewing the Performance Information Procurement System, uh, the basics in about 30 minutes. The idea of the best value approach comes from the information measurement theory. Simple principles to help increase efficiency. And these principles have been implemented in the PIP system. If you would like to understand the principles more, you can go to the IMT manual. What does it mean to deliver a plan? We will want the deliverables in terms of metrics. Unlike a traditional project where the contract will be based on a list of actions, technical items, that the vendor will have to check mark and say they delivered. In the best value system, we, their identification of if they delivered the contract and the scope of work will be based off of metrics. Hence, we don't care exactly if they check marked every line item or every action item. We want to ensure that at the end of the project, the client is satisfied, that the product is usable. And the vendor will identify this in terms of metrics. We will want not only a milestone, but a detailed schedule to know that the vendor has outlined the entire project, that they know exactly what they have to do from beginning to end. We will want them to outline activities that they do not control and how they will mitigate any risk in those activities. Someone not being coordinated with or waiting on an outside entity or having an outside entity approve a certain item. And we will want to know exactly how they will coordinate that and how they will mitigate any risk in that being a problem. Originally, the plan is uncoordinated. This means that we will want first the vendor to tell us what their plan is. And after the vendor has told us what their vision is, then the client can give their input. Then the client can say, well, I don't approve of this, or this we will not be able to do. At that time, the vendor will have to identify a way to work around it. If the vendor has to change their plan to account for the client, then that will cause for adjustment in anything that is required in terms of time and cost. It will have to be approved always by the client or the buyer. Thank you.